So, how many times have you been to a potluck or a picnic and you watch all these plastic utensils go in the trash? Well, I've got a great idea for you and you'll never put them in the trash again. Take a look. Here's today's project. These are the eggs that are made out of the plastic spoons. And I'm going to show you how. First, you're going to need some shredded paper, and this is my recycled paper. Sometimes when I print things out or, or bills or whatever that I don't want to, um, to go into my trash, I just put them through my paper shredder. And then you're going to need a card. You need some plastic spoons, some dimensional paint, dimensional paint. Also, I have, um, this is some fabric spray paint from Tulip. And screen, and you're going to need a little candle and some glue. So let me show you how to get started on this. First thing I do is I take my sh shreds and you just paint, spray the paint into the plastic bag and kind of mix it up. Mix it up until you get the desired color that you want. Then you're just going to dump them out onto your wax paper, and that's what I've done here, where they're already dry. And it didn't it didn't matter to me that they they were a little bit sprayed and a little bit white. I really liked that effect. So you're going to take some of your glue. I'm going to take the lid off this. I actually put a tape top um, where it's got the tape on nozzle on it, and I'm going to use that a little bit later. So I'm just going to take a little bit of glue out here, like so, so we can use that tape nozzle. We're just going to spread some of this across. I got a little bit too much. And we're going to put the shreds right into that glue. These are the painted ones that we did. This is going to create our Easter grass for the for our Easter eggs. Next thing we're going to do is we we put the East the Happy Easter. So we're going to use a stencil. This is just a plastic stencil I bought at the craft store, and all you do is I take a pencil very lightly, sketch my letters. And you can put anything you want. I'm just putting happy right now. And again, like I said, do it lightly because you want to put the dimensional paint over that. And here's where you would put the dimensional paint right over Now what I did forget to mention when you're going to use dimensional paint, please always shake it down and test it first. Dimensional paint tends to want to burp or spit, whatever you want to call it. Sometimes it just kind of spits out. So if you shake it down, test it first, it always works better for you. See how easy that is? And that's going to give our little um, greeting. Now we're going to put that aside to dry while we do our Easter eggs. Put this out of the way. Okay, we need a candle. We light the candle. Now we don't you don't want to put your your spoon down into the flame because it will turn it black. What you want to do is you just want to kind of heat it over the flame and it's right in between the stem and the bowl and you just kind of move it and you can kind of see how it, it wiggles you, I want then I, what I do is I usually pull it apart 
and then I can cut it easier. Now, if this edge isn't the way I want it, I kind of heat it up again. And again, don't put it in the flame, it's just heating it. And when it starts to heat up, when it's softer, then I can cut it where I want it. And that's what I want. I want that edge to be kind of curved like the, like the shape of an egg. Let me blow this out. And then for this, you can cut this off too, and I'm going to show you a little bit later what you can do with these. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to decorate them. And again, you just take your dimensional paint, and you can do all kinds of designs for Easter eggs. You can do dots. Shake it down, test it. Until you have it all covered. Now I have a few here that I did a couple hours ago where I was just kind of playing with them. And I wanted to show you another little secret. If you take if you take wax paper and you kind of play with some other shapes. Like let's say we want to do a flower like so. Uh, let me see where our yellow is. We would put like a dot and then we would put dots around it. Whoops, see that one just spit. And then put like the the leaves and the stem there. But what happens when you do this, let me see if these are dry from earlier, and also you can see how I put the rhinestones in it. You can actually lift these up, and then you can glue these on, and then you don't have a problem where it slid down on this particular shape. Here's some hearts. So then what you would do is where I showed you that we put, I put the tape nozzle, what I would do is I would actually put a little bit of glue on these, that are already dry. I put the, the little drop of um, of the paint and then I put the rhinestone in and then you just put a little bit of the glue and then you put it in like that. And I got this hint from Crafty Chica when she was doing a project a while back where she was putting the paint down and then lifting it and then gluing it on. And I thought that was such a cool idea. That way you can if you make a mistake on here, or sometimes with, when it's a cur curved area, uh, it, want, it tends to kind of want to run down. So if you do that with your little shapes like that, you can just glue them on like so. Then what I would do, I go back here to my card, and I would put some glue anywhere that it's going to touch. If it's going to touch the the card. And I'd put it in. And this one I just did some little dotted flowers. And then I would put this one probably there. Then what you can do is you can always go back and glue a little bit of that a uh, shred of paper over the end of it to kind of look like it's nested into the grass. And then of course I would have done Happy Easter too. Now I want to show you one more thing before I finished. Let me get these all out of the way. Because I showed you the Easter eggs. This is the Easter basket. So this is what you would use these pieces for. You would actually use these, whoops. You would take them all and glue them along here. Let me see if I can show that. And then you, you would paint them brown. 
and also this is the this is a handle handle so you have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven of the handles that actually make the basket so you can make like a little wall hanging of the Easter basket and bring it out at Easter time but it sh so it shows you all of these are um, decorated in the little bow and isn't that fun and colorful and it's just another way to use reuse your plastic spoons so that they don't go into the landfill. Thanks everyone. See you next time.